Fox News reports after the Jesse Smollett verdict, Jesse Smollett's Subway sandwich was key to case, ex-Chicago police superintendent says. So the former Chicago police superintendent, Eddie Johnson, says, the guy had the sandwich in his hand, never been touched. So that was a real tip and a clue to us that something wasn't miss. Um, the sandwich wasn't the main target in the attack. Sandwiches don't feel pain. Sandwiches don't fall apart. Like, sandwiches don't hold evidence that someone has been hurt. Like, if you want evidence that Jesse Smollett was hurt, why don't you look at the bleach that's on his clothing? Why don't you look at the mark that's on his cheekbone? That's the bloody mark on his fucking face. This is the dumbest thing I've ever read in my entire life. The guy says Jesse Smollett may not have sent hateful letter. This is from the um, a month after the attack happened. This Alex Galbraith guy who wrote this article, he should be on TV talking about why he wrote this article. The FBI said that the Chicago police were overstating things when they claimed that Jesse Smollett definitely sent a hateful ransom note style letter to himself. Law enforcement spoke, sources who spoke to TMZ said the matter of who sent the letter is still under investigation. And apparently they gave up. I mean, we didn't talk about the threatening letter. Have you ever seen this before? Have you ever seen the physical evidence in the case that's widely available to the public if you know where to look for it? Look at the top of the front. It says MAGA. And it's poorly written, like an immigrant who recently learned English, maybe from Nigeria, wrote it. Shirt sure, certainly doesn't look like... Like, if you were born in America, could you fake not knowing English this well? Could you even pretend that you can write this badly? No, this must have been written by an immigrant. It looks like a child wrote it, except it says on the inside, you will die black fag with letters that were cut out of magazines. And then it shows Jesse Smollett in a noose, depicting him with the exception of the gun being fired at him, um, depicting him the same way he was on the night that he was attacked, 10 days after this letter was sent to Jesse Smollett's studio. So, see these magazine cutout letters? Why would the police take magazines from their house, they listen to our brother's house, unless, unless they were looking for magazines with cutout spaces where the letters had been used in the threatening letter? So, I know you can't see this too well. Magazines, stamps, bleach, a receipt, and a red hat were all found in the Osendara brothers' home. That explains how they could have stored the bleach inside and then brought it outside before it freezes and attacked Smollett. This is Joe Kopsig, as it always is. Uh, I'm out here in front of 511 North McClurg Street in Chicago. Subway restaurant where Jesse Smollett bought the either the tuna fish sandwich or the egg salad or what. And apparently the sandwich is what this whole case hinges on, right? The sandwich tells us so much more than the other physical evidence in the case, like the threatening letter, which the FBI said that Smollett did not send. FBI says Smollett may not have sent hateful letter. Free literature. Everyone's ignoring the Osendaro brothers, what was found in their apartment by the police. The magazines, the bleach, the red hat, the receipt. Free articles. Does anyone want to debate me on the physical evidence in the Jesse Smollett case, which is being ignored? favor of a discussion on race and culture. Are we ever going to talk about the physical evidence in the case? Is it so crazy that a man would drive around a couple times his own house before parking? Does that mean you're planning an attack because you drive around the block before you park at your own house? Doesn't make any sense. Take it. Throw it to the wind. Everyone read it. Read it and weep. This video was me, downtown Chicago. 511 North McClurg Street, that's the Subway restaurant outside of which the alleged attack, now now we know, confirmed attack because the jury believes the attack happened and yet they convicted Jesse Smollett on five out of six counts. So the jury confirmed what I've been saying for almost three years, which is that I think this attack happened. You should, pay, you should be paying really close attention to the fact that most of the people who think Smollett fabricated the attack also think the attack didn't even fucking happen in the first place. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You see, they agree with the jury that Smollett is guilty, but they don't agree on why he's guilty. 
And I was out there passing out, trying to pass out. A, a guy came up to me. He didn't even want the literature. He, he took a photograph with me, and then he didn't want the literature. I have these articles. FBI says threatening letter was probably not sent by Smollett. You know, he was really excited to see me. He didn't want to read the articles. I have 15 copies of two different articles. He didn't want to read it. I have so much to spare. I, have, I come out there with free literature and a sign that says, Jesse Smollett is innocent, debate me. It's like, wow, why would I have the confidence to come out in the middle of Chicago where this attack did happen, according to the jury, which is what CBS Chicago says. CBS Chicago says that the jury says that the fight happened. Well, why is it that most of the people who think he's guilty disagree with the jury on that hugely important fact, whether the fight happened in the first place? They predicted that he would be found innocent because I thought people would come to their sentences and look at the physical evidence for one second. You know, something that's not being discussed here is the list of evidence that the police confiscated and recovered from the Osendaro brothers' home, which included a red hat and bleach and magazines, you know, like the magazines whose cut out letters they used in the ransom, I call it a ransom letter, but it's just a threatening letter in the ransom style with the cut out magazines. And also the envelope that they sent it to him in, it said MAGA on the front. And the inside, it depicted him with a noose around his neck. So the threatening letter that they sent depicts Smollett in exactly the way that he would later be 10 days later when he was attacked on the street that there happened to be no video evidence of. And yet, even though there's no video evidence of it, the attack happening, the jury believes it has happened. Curious, why aren't we talking about this? Why are we talking about race and culture and a stupid fucking sandwich that doesn't tell you anything instead of debating the physical evidence? You know, the superintendent of police, Eddie Johnson, thinks that this sandwich tells you much more than all the physical evidence that the Osendaro brothers were filmed buying at the store before the attack. They think the sandwich tells you more evidence than all that other evidence combined. A new article came out saying Superintendent Johnson thinks this whole thing hinges on the sandwich. Now, they're making fun of Jesse Smollett because, like, oh, he failed to protect himself, but he cared more about the sandwich than himself. Why is it that the sandwich was unscathed? I don't know, maybe because the sandwich doesn't immediately fall apart and burst into flames when it falls three feet out of a guy's hand. The question, why was this sandwich unscathed? I got a better question. When you're beating a guy up and putting a rope around his neck, why would you damage his sandwich? The sandwich can't feel pain. Why would you take the sandwich? That The sandwich has nothing to fucking do with it. Everyone's talking about, oh, well, if he got a salad instead of a tuna sandwich, that doesn't make sense because he was supposed to be eating egg. It's like, will you quit talking about the fucking sandwich? Will you look at the fact that the red hat and the bleach were found in the Osendaro brothers' apartment when it was confiscated by the police? And why would they confiscate magazines unless they were looking for magazines with cut out pieces that were used in a threatening letter? So every, all the physical evidence is just being ignored. Every perceived inconsistency is being treated as a lie. Um, it's like Smollett confesses to changing his description of his attackers from white to pale. What the fuck is the difference between white and pale? He didn't say they were pale black guys. He just said they were pale. His attorney, Mark Garagos, says that he thinks under those black wool uh, ski masks, he thinks that they, which they were filmed buying at the store, which doesn't mean that doesn't necessarily mean Smollett paid them or told them to do it. The check was for physical training. I think they were racketeering, you know. So Garagos said it's possible white paint. It's possible the Osendaro brothers put white paint on their faces to make themselves look white. Do you not understand how racketeering works? They fabricated a threat against Smollett by sending him a threatening letter, and then there was a fight, an attack. They were trying to get more money out of him make he think, to make him think he needed to give them more money to defend himself, like, for protection, you know? They wanted him to pay them for physical training that would make him buff, not just for his role, but so that he could protect him against the threat that they were fabricating. They fabricated the attack, and then they posed as white guys to try to get away with it. What doesn't make sense about that? It's called racketeering. Welcome to Chicago, motherfucker. Do you see what's happening here? The people who think that Smollett did it and fabricated the attack don't see that they disagree with the jury. 
that the attack happened in the first place. Everyone who's been saying that Smollett fabricated this attack and contracted a hit out on himself has been saying that Smollett was the one who gave himself those injuries. They said that the injuries were fake. Well, guess what, bitch? The jury thinks the attack did happen. Explain that. Can you explain that? No, you can't because you're stupid and you haven't been following this case closely like I have for the past almost three years. People are like, how could the bleach have been poured when bleach freezes at the temperature that it was out that night? Well, if you store it inside where it's 70 degrees, you know, the bleach would be 70 degrees when you're storing it in a 70 degree environment. And then you bring it outside right before the attack. The bleach doesn't have time to freeze. It doesn't have time to freeze between the time that you bring it out of your house when it's stored in a 70 degree environment and the time that you pour it on a guy. And indeed, bleach was recovered by the police from the Osendaro brothers' apartment. And indeed, the police testified to smelling the smell of bleach on Jesse Smollett's clothing. Everything suggesting the fight did happen lines up, and the jury believes that. Now, why is it that you think Jesse Smollett beat himself up when the jury that you agree with that he's guilty says that he didn't beat himself up and the attack really happened? So why would Jesse Smollett fabricate a real attack against himself? He couldn't afford to have his face beat up. He wouldn't want to feel physical pain. When you fabricate an attack against someone, you make sure the attack is fake. So even if he did fabricate an attack against himself, well, apparently they turned on him and decided to actually hurt him in the process because he was photographed with real bruises on his fucking cheekbones. Who is so stupid that they would fabricate an attack against themselves and not make sure to make sure it's fucking actually fabricated? He didn't make sure the attack was fake. He didn't make sure that the violence used in the attack was fake. He just let these people, he paid these people to actually beat him up? Who the fuck would be stupid enough to do that? Would you pay someone to actually hurt you? No! Why would someone... This doesn't fucking make sense, guys.